Okay, so um, this is actually tutorial seven, although I didn't know what tutorial we was on in the bef before, but this is now tutorial seven. Um, okay, so we've now made our text area uh, to sit nicely with inside of the comment insert container. Um, we have our who says um, title. Uh, what we want to do now is add the actual post um, button. Now, we could put the post button underneath, but I don't want to. I want to put the post button up here okay because there's empty space there and I'd rather fill it up with um, some some form of button than leave it empty so we're going to use the same type of um, idea as this um, button here um, by using position absolute once again so let's get on with it shall we okay so with inside of the who says we're not going to put it we're just going to say then um, comment post button wrapper and I don't think we even need a wrapper um, I will put one in anyway it'd be fine okay so comment I like to use uh, um, classes that actually mean something rather than using these short sharp classes you know comment post button wrapper you understand what it means so let's say comment post button wrapper that is going to be as well position absolute because we're going to put it all the way to the right hand side I'm going to say top zero right, let's budge this down right zero pixels uh, width then is equal to uh, 125, it should be okay height is equal to 30 pixels whoops what did we put the H3 so that was the who says we put that height of 30, so height 30, this can be fine. In actual fact, if we're going to do that, let's copy this, shall we? And let's just bump it in there. And colour is equal to that. Yeah, that's fine. But potentially, we want to have background of the same colour as the text. And then we do colour is equal to white. <coughs> Excuse me. 4, 5, 6, line height 27, font size that, width is equal to auto, we don't want, margin we don't want, border bottom we don't need. Okay, so, whoops, let's push that over, oh yeah, come on, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, so we've got position absolute, top right, um, width, oh no. Uh, width, let's do height with a T shall we let's get rid of that one there line height, backgrounds, that one there, that one there let's have a look at what this looks like shall we first okay probably the buttons up here, yes it is okay so we need to change it so that our um, comment insert is position relative to stop it from sitting up right up the top so comment insert we need to then add position relative so any other items with inside of it that are position absolute know that they're using this um, X and Y as their um, as their position okay that pushes it down there let's push it over from the right left as such so we're going to give it a margin right of 10 to nudge it over um, to the left hand side left a little bit so let's come down to our comment post button wrapper and we say right of 10 pixels. Let's have another look. Okay, that pushes it over nicely. This colour's way too dark for me. Okay, so let's have a look in here. Let's get this one background colour, which is the one that we used. Let's come to colour picker. Let's chuck it in there. Press enter. And we want to probably go for this one here. So let's have a look at this one here. Let's place it in that. Let's come back to our page, refresh it. Okay, that's probably okay. I'd say we could even go a little bit lighter than that uh, to this one here. Okay, so we've got 6989cc. Let's put it in there. Come back to our page once again. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, but the buttons, the height and the width is just too big for me. Okay because potentially it's just going to have um, post in there, nothing more than that. Ok, 
Okay, the text also needs to be centrally aligned, which we've got to do now. So let's do um, let's do um, text align center, and the height I don't like, so we're going to say 25. We'll nudge this down to 22, so the line height's down to 22. The width I don't think we need to even have 125. I think it needs to be like maybe 60. Um, and let's see how that looks for now. Okay, that's looking better. Okay, so we now need to come from the top down a little bit. So let's bring it down um, by five pixels because we reduced the height down by five. Let's have another look. Okay, that's better. Um, but still, I think because of the height of this one, um, we're going to have to increase the height of the, the Who Says um, box. And that was here. So we're going to increase that by 35. Um, we're going to keep that at, at line height 27 for the now. Okay, we need to reduce. Yeah, okay. So let's knock the line height up a little bit to budge the text down. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now that we have this one button, uh, we want to be able to get rid of this text, um, the text cursor, so it looks like a button instead. So let's come down to here. And that's now our, um, on here. I'm going to say uh, pointer. Let's come back to our page, refresh it, and now we get the button type style. Now we want to add the hover style to it. So let's come and copy this. Whoops. And let's make another one of them. Make sure you add the hover onto the end, not hocker, hover. And we're going to say uh, background. Whoops, why did it do that? Background. I think we want to go. We want to go darker. So let's go up one. And let's go darker, shall we? So let's say background is that there. The color is on on white, so let's give keep the color on white actually still. I don't know why I put that in. Let's refresh. Okay, so we get a nice little um, color itself. I'm going to add a border on this. Okay, although this one is is going to be a border of one pixel solid um, and then white. Okay, it's just so it, it, there's a border on it otherwise the the actual button will move and we're then going to add of a1 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 when we hover over it okay so when we hover we get a border on the outside as well but potentially there was oh i think that borders too much you know we're going to get rid of it it was just i think it's just personally too much so we're just leaving it with the change of background and then the color all right now that's good enough for me i don't think i need anything more than that but we could just knock down um, the darkness of this. And let's say F A F A F A. So the color of the text can change very slightly. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't change much actually. Let's say E A E A E A. Let's see what we get now. All right, we're not getting much for change, but it will do. All right, it will do. Now let's change the color of this says a little bit so it's uh, a little bit darker than the David Thorne itself so let's come to here and we've got then this color once again and let's chuck that in our color picker and we want it darker so let's go too darker now in order for us to do that we need to come back to our index and we've got the who says so we need to add uh, that into a span and we'll give this a um, well we don't even need a class we'll just say who says span um, in here so let's go to here and before I forget the color is there I'll we'll just say comment inserts h3 who says and then put span at the end and let's take this once again and then say color is equal to that Let's go back to our page once again, give it a refresh. Okay, that now changed the color of this very, very slightly. Okay, so we get slight, a slight change. Okay, next thing to do, have some hover state on the um, comment, comment insert 
container. Okay, so let's copy this because we want to change the comment insert container. We want to add a hover to it. Press enter and then when I say border equals uh, one pixel solid and what do we have uh, e1 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 so let's then say to go darker uh, let's go let's go d oh let's go b uh, d c yeah let's go c1 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 okay so let's now change this okay now we get some form of identification that we're actually um, going to be making a comment Right, that will be just enough. It, it's just like uh, user interaction. So they say, "Hey, actually, you can do something in here." You know, they can comment in here. Um, yeah, that will be enough. I think. Let's just go back out again. That button seems to be kind of. I don't know whether it's too big. You know, I think it'd be fine. It'd be f fine for this. Okay, so that's our comment box done. I think we did a bit too much margin on this as well this insert was margin 10 so this whole container yeah, it was the actual insert itself because these comment boxes below they don't have so much margin on it so let's change that to um, 10 top is fine but then the the horizontal sides of it we're just gonna say 5 so that now should make it bigger yep that's fine Okay, so that's now the comment um, bit done. I would say that we're ready now to begin with our JavaScript. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no, we'll begin with our JavaScript now. That's perfect time. So potentially our um, comment boxes are all, uh, all of our, our comments are done. Our comment box is potentially done. Our button's done. Um, now we need to begin with actually uh, populating it and manipulating it with JavaScript and PHP uh, and so on. So uh, let's move on to tutorial 8. I mean, if you're still watching and you're still following this far, um, then well done. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you in the next tutorial where we can start doing um, the JavaScript element of it. Let's have fun.